All right, so we're back for another How To Tuesday, and I want to demonstrate um, a make one right, and this is going to be knitwise. So just a quickie, in the interest of keeping all of these videos very short, I will be separating the knitwise and purlwise and left and right video, so it will be four videos total. And um, I will link to all the other ones in the videos in the description box below. So. If you don't know who I am, I'm a Radian Noari. I'm the resident witch and creatrix over to Radius Hand and Danae's Divine, where I create myth, magic, and meaning for your everyday life. And on Tuesdays, we like to do a little how-to here and there. So, um, this is a make one right knitwise. And one, one of the things that I will say is if you see a stitch just called make one right, or um, they probably mean knitwise, it's usually left off. Um, if you just see one that says make one, then you need to consider what side of the fabric is on. If it's on the knit side, then it probably needs to be a knit. If it is on the purl side, then it probably needs to be a purl. And so that's just a by the way. But, um, you know, when in doubt, if you see a pattern and it's not clear, you can always um, ask the pattern designer or for some reason you can't get a hold of them. Um, I might be able to help you. So just reach out to me. So, uh, what you you would use this when you want to increase and you don't want to make a yarn uh, a large hole. One of the the easiest increase um, is a yarn over, and the problem with the yarn over is it leaves a very pronounced hole. Now, if you're making something where you want eyelets, that's great, but if you just need one more stitch, a make one is a pretty uh, it's pretty low key increase. There are a couple of other increases. Um, like a knit front and back that have uh, very specific characteristics to them and are very obvious. So it's all a matter of preference. There's not a right way. And if you're in a pattern and it just says that you need to increase, you can use whatever increase you want. So um, you'll need yarn and needles and that's it. So we're going, I'm going to knit into the middle halfway through the swatch and then I will make one see what it looks like and um, I knit this with a garter stitch border and the whole purpose of that was to make sure that the swatch would stay flat when I was trying to show you so there you go now we've gotten to the point where we're going to do our make one so this unlike a lot of the other increases or decreases decreases this doesn't involve you working into the next stitch or multiple stitches or working into the stitch more than once instead you're going to work between the stitches which is why this is a little more low-key so when you make one right you will insert your needle into the back to front of that bar that's in between and i like to stretch my knitting a little bit and then you will insert your needle that you're working with into the front where that loop that you've made you will yarn over and then you will have made your stitch now we're going to continue do this row and what i will do is work this work the next one and then we'll do another round of make one we'll do more than one so as you can see it's this right here so you see where that that knit stitch appearance is a little smaller than the other ones and there's a tiny hole but that's you know not super super noticeable so go ahead and this side
All right, so there we go. We're ready for the next one again. There is our stitch. So what we're going to do this time is I'm going to work up through the same amount of stitches I did before. I'm going to work up to here, make one, knit this one, make one, and then work across. So you'll be able to see it kind of spreading out in the middle. So we've come to the point where we've got the make one from the previous. I'm going to, again, you can stretch your knitting a little bit and insert your work, uh, your left needle from back to front. And then you're going to very carefully, and sometimes this, this part can take a little finagling. Um, a lot of people prefer the make one left because it's easier to do. And when you see that video, you'll understand why. We yarn over, work that stitch. I'm going to work this stitch again. And then do our next. So back to front. And then work into the front of the stitch. And then. Work all the rest of the stitches. And as you can see, there's a little bit of a spread out already happening. It's kind of creating this vertex that is opening up. We'll do one more, one more row of increases. So, see a little more, oh gracious, it's a little messy over there. See a little more clearly how this is where the first one was, and then you see those little tiny, slightly bigger holes, those were the next ones that this stitch worked between. So, These are our last, these are our last two stitches. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to work up to these three stitches, do another make one on either side and then finish it off. see what's going on here did not catch all of the uh, stitch so we're actually going to take the time to fix that right here this pardon this intermission here we go it's gonna bother me here we go that's much better <laughs> okay so now back to business we've got this little bar right you need to make sure it's the top bar you don't want to accidentally knit below when that's not what you're trying to do so we've got a bar from back to front and very carefully 
go into the front of the stitch, work, and then we're going to work three stitches. And then I'm going to do another, make one back to front, insert in the front of the needle, yarn over, pull it through, As you can see, there you go. So for the most part, it's pretty low key. The first one's probably the most noticeable one. And that's probably because it was just a single one. And it's really the, the almost a stress point at this point because of all the other ones. So as you can see, it increases it slowly but surely. Kind of gives it a Y shape. So there you go. There is your make one right knitwise. Stay tuned for the next video, which will be a make one left knitwise, which I I personally like better, and I imagine you will too. And I would love to hear from you. Have you used this technique? Did you like it? And, you know, weigh in. Do you prefer to knit one right or left? Or make one right or left when knitting. So, until then, happy knitting!